March can be such a lovely month. It is said that it comes in like a lion and goes out like a lamb. This particular day was at the turning point as it was mid-month and the day was cool but sunny. It was beautiful for walking in fact and I made my way to Darwin Tower in Lancashire. It was built in 1898 to commemorate Queen Victoria's Golden Jubilee and also to celebrate the victory of the local people to have access to the moors. Another name it has is the Jubilee Tower. The way was through Bold Venture Park, a picturesque bridge between the small town of Darwin and the tower. The climb was steep and I was glad to find a bench just beneath the tower to sit and enjoy my flask of tea and my sandwiches. I was surprised to see a large group of people enjoying a picnic in front of it. As they were dressed in what looked like Victorian outfits, I guessed it was some kind of commemoration of the opening. There were children running around the outside, so I decided to wait until I could walk around myself and take some pictures. After a while, the party left and started to walk down a path that led to some woods below. I decided I would follow the same route once I had taken my pictures. I went around to the other side of the tower and captured some stunning but stark views across the moors. I thought that the party would by now have reached the bottom of the hill and so I was prepared to follow them down. Imagine my surprise when I discovered that there was no path, just the unbroken moors. I walked up and down thinking perhaps I had mis I'd mistaken the location, but there was still was nothing. After a while I sat on a bench beneath the tower and began to speculate on what might be the reason for this phenomenon. Had I somehow slipped back in time? Was I going crazy? Was I having hallucinations? Maybe the coffee was too strong. Making my way back down the hill, the way I had come, I started to contemplate how many paths had I walked in previous lives, perhaps in Egypt or ancient India. I thought of all the people and places that I had become familiar with, just as in this life. Those I had loved and spent lifetimes with, who I now forgotten, though they were more important to me than life itself to me at the time. The places that I had lived and called home. This life is also fated to fade, like the mist over the moors at dawn. Yes, the paths we tread do disappear, but I believe they are still there somewhere. They have all led us to where we are now, and will lead us ever onwards. And perchance those we knew before are with us now, in another form. I suddenly had a feeling of being an immortal being. He was always walking on from life to life, with death only, only like the shedding of a worn out coat. Many, many paths. Well, isn't that what we are all doing? Walking all these paths? What poignant thoughts this incident had evoked. A heavy shower and a long wait for a bus back to Bolton chased away any remaining poignancy. I decided not to tell anyone about my experience, as I felt it would not have the same impact when related second hand, but it certainly stirred something in me. That is what such happenings should do.